Hi there, my name is Eli and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And in today's video, I have this brand new Monster High Cleo Denial Self Scare Day playset to unbox and review. I am sort of mixed on this playset. I did pay a little bit extra for her than what her retail price is. I paid $40 for her at Paul Mart and I'm pretty sure she retails for around $30 and then this playset is kind of more of like the budget friendly options. I would probably compare it to the Draculaura Bite in the Park playset that came out last year. That's the one that had like the park bench and like a picnic table and Count Fabulous and Roxina were like, you know, I don't know, playing with a frisbee out in the park. Like it was cute. It was cute, right? But the Draculaura had polypropylene hair, no chest joint. The dress was pretty basic. Um, so it definitely feels like these types of playsets. The focus is the you know new accessories that you're getting, uh, like this vanity and this chair, and then the doll is sort of like second fiddle, you know. Which I primarily care about the dolls themselves rather than like this vanity. Like it's a nice vanity, it's cool, but like. I bought this primarily for Cleo herself, you know? So it's interesting. Uh, it doesn't really tie in into any themed line. It doesn't tie into like Monster Fest or School Ultimate Secrets. It's just kind of a weird auxiliary product. And I like these auxiliary products. I just wish the dolls themselves just had like a smidgen more love and care put into them. I mean, her face looks good. Her face looks good. I did like already slightly open the box to like crack in there because her hair was like, bugging me the way it was like tied back so i was undoing some of those ties just before i officially unboxed her because like it was really irking me just you know fyi but there she is uh we'll unbox her to see what she looks like you know she's pretty basic i don't think this cleo is going to be at the top of people's list you know i don't think she's going to be like the one to have but i think she's a cool doll and i'm excited to see everything she comes with so let's unbox her and then take a closer look Okay, I've unboxed Cleo and the vanity and you know, like the chair and the accessories, all that. But before I take a closer look at her, let me just show you the back of the box because there was some extra information that I didn't go over. It's pretty simple stuff, you know, it's just some photographs. And then there you can see, once again, it says Cleo Denial, self scare day, and then a mummified vanity. And then the write up says for Cleo Denial, having a beauty routine is the ultimate form of self scare. Whether brushing her hair or trying on accessories, the vanity is her favorite place to unwind while expressing her fabulously royal style. Pretty simple concept, you know? It's a vanity. She's uh, putting on makeup, getting ready for the day. We love to see it. And now let's take a closer look at Cleo and see what she has to offer. So I wanna start with the vanity. Here it is. You can see me in my Snoopy t-shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, there's a mirror. The mirror is pretty nice. It's not giving like, you know, like funhouse vibes. It's not too warped. It's pretty clear, which is what you want from like a Playline doll mirror, you know? And then I think this drawer slides out or am I like making that up? I swear. Oh, it opens up. Okay. That's different. It reminds me of like a, a desk that I had in high school for like art class, you know? And then what do you do with all these accessories when you're done playing? You can just shove them in there. And that's nice, you know, so kids don't lose their accessories, close it back up. It's pretty good, like, well, I say that and like, if you really shake it, like it slightly cracks, so it doesn't have like any specific closure to keep it shut, um, but you know, it gets the job done. And I like the different colors they have of plastic on here. There's no paint accessories, it's just tons of different colors of molded plastic. And the molded details are really nice as well. So the sculpt is gorgeous. Kind of giving Halloween though, with like the black and the orange, but whatever. I love the cobras in the front. There's some floral details in the back, even right here, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Like the hieroglyphs. And there's Snoopy again. And then we have the scarab wing details up there. Lots of cool details around the perimeter of the mirror. It's, it's actually really nice. It's pretty simple. Um, which I do like. It's not too in your face. Um, surprisingly tasteful. So I'm not mad at it. And then here is the chair that she comes with. This is also kind of nice. I like that the base 
of the chair is like a pyramid. It's very, very cool. Very simple, very classy and elegant. The cushion is a uh, blue and you can see it's just kind of like shoved into the gold plastic. So just two se separate pieces of plastic that make this chair. Let's see how well she sits in it. I put her in a doll stand, um, but yeah, I wanna see how well she can sit in this. Okay. It's kind of low to the ground, you know? And then like bend her knees. Yeah, she sits decently well. Yes, maybe. Her posture is not great. You know, you just gotta <laughs> fix the posture. Okay. Yeah, she's kind of leaning back a, a little bit. You know, like I said, you gotta play around with it, fiddle. There she is. Oh. <laughs> Oh, babes, look at me, hire me, Mattel. Look at that angle, that's perfect, okay. It does look good, it does look good, it's fun, I like it. Um, it is one of the more tasteful, like, playset accessories that we've gotten, like, of any of them that I would probably display and, like, try to go out of my way to make space for. This is probably the one that I would do it with, because it's, it's, it's really cool, I like it. And then she has tons of other accessories and they are borrowed from tons of other dolls. So we'll look at that and bring over all of the dolls that she's borrowing those from. But I think the only thing that is brand new as far as accessories themed towards this playset is this cute little scarab hairbrush. I wish there was like a, I don't know what to call it, but you know, like something for her to hold it, like a little finger hole, cause she can't hold it, uh, but it's really cute. And it's a real brush, like a real doll brush. I don't know if I'd recommend using it, but let's see. It's cute. Like, you know, for a kid to play with their doll and be like, oh, she's brushing her hair. Like, you know, it's nice. It's doll scale, which is cool. But as an adult, I'm probably not going to really, you know, be using it to brush out Cleo's hair. But this is, I think, the only, like, unique plastic accessory that is on a doll scale that comes with this playset. So, <laughs> you, know, you know, you have to get it for your exclusive scarab brush. <laughs> so put that there and then we'll get Cleo back up so we can take a closer look at her outfit and her makeup. Okay, now we can take a closer look at this Cleo doll. She has pretty simple hair. It's the usual color blend that we're used to seeing from Cleo, which is two shades of blue, one's darker, one's lighter with some gold tinsel down the center part. It's pretty and it's saran, so I can't complain because last year when we got uh, this playset, the Draculaura had polypropylene hair. So you know what? I'll take the saran hair where I can get it. And there's really no hairstyle. It's just a center part that is down, but I like it. Uh, pretty simple, does need a wash, but even out of the box, feels nice, no tingles, no product. So I'm happy about that. And then the makeup is, I think, for me, the selling point of this doll. This graphic teal liner is beautiful. The shadow like doesn't even smoke out. It's just like a huge block of that teal color, but I think it looks really, really good. And then there is some orange makeup like lining the inner corner of her eye right there. And then the slightest bit of gold right under her eye. I think this eye makeup is stunning. I love it so much. It reminds me of um, Laguna, Bush Laguna, the like the uh, Scared Ice Laguna. That's what it reminds me of, yeah. I feel like they're very similar in color story. And I feel like this face definitely stands out amongst the other Cleos we've gotten from Generation 3. And even the lip color is nice and different. It's this red orange, which we haven't seen before. So I love this face. For me, it's her biggest selling point. That plus the Saran hair. I was like, you know what, I'm sold. Now the fashion, less so, it's two pieces. Um, this asymmetrical skirt <laughs> with this striped pattern, it's fine. Well, no, it's, it's ugly, I don't love it. And I'm probably gonna keep her in it just because it's a unique piece. Um, so at least she has that going for her, but it's just, yeah, it's really simple. It's just this printed fabric on this like stretch cloth, um, asymmetrical cut, you know, it's form-fitting, it hugs her body very nicely, but it's not like the most beautiful piece out there. And then she has this cropped t-shirt and this gold holofoil like fabric, which we have seen this fabric before. 
let me bring out the doll in which we saw it on. The very first Cleo Denial in Generation 3 had this fabric instead of a cropped tee. It was a whole freaking like jersey t-shirt dress. Now, for this doll, it was only on the front, which I didn't like. Like if you look at the back, the hollow foil fabric doesn't continue there, which I don't know, kind of bugged me for whatever reason. But at least on this new Cleo, it's front and back, which I mean, it's like a cropped baby tee. I mean, it better be on the front and back, you know what I mean? But we've seen this fabric before and I didn't love it then. I can tolerate it now. I'm, I've grown accustomed to it. I think it's cuter here than it was here. So that's good, I guess. But yeah, it's 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 kind of ugly looking. Just kind of kind of cheap and kind of tacky. That's the word. It's kind of tacky. But I'm probably just gonna keep her in this outfit because at least it's a unique outfit. Like the fashion pieces themselves aren't reused. Um, it's the accessories and everything else that is borrowed from other dolls, which we will now talk about and go over all of the accessories that she comes with. Okay, so first and foremost, going from top to bottom, she comes wearing some pieces like these earrings. We have seen these earrings twice before, so now this makes these earrings third appearance in Generation 3. The first time we saw them was Skultimate Secrets Viridescent. Here they are in orange. They're nice fanned out earrings. I like them. I painted mine gold, and then I got a second one just recently, so now I can show you the original orange color again. And then the second time we saw them was on the budget, what is it, Ghoul's Day Out Cleo, and blue. So we now have two of them in blue. They look to be like almost the same exact shade of blue. I can't really discern that much of a color difference. This one might be slightly brighter, but like they're basically the same. In all three iterations, they never had any extra paint detail, just huge chunky blocks of plastic which you know whatever and then the next accessory she comes wearing is this necklace which we have also seen before when we saw it it was actually a little bit more detailed on monster ball cleo there you can see she's wearing that necklace and it was in a gold plastic with some red and blue paint detailing here it's just in a solid blue plastic with no paint detail so i prefer this one a lot less you know it's not as nice as the original monster ball necklace but I at least like that we're getting fun accessories. And then the next thing this doll comes wearing in her default outfit are these shoes right here. These are nice. I do like these shoes. We have like a Sphinx cat on the heel and no paint details, unfortunately, but the mold is still really nice. And we have seen these before as well. And that was from our fabulous pets Cleo, which I have right here. Here you can see them side by side. Now there is a color difference. It is subtle, but the Fabulous Pets, it's almost like a green tinged gold. You can see, right? It's hard to capture on camera, but I swear to you, the golds are different. Fabulous Pets on the right has a more green tone, and then there's less of that green tone on this new, what is this set called? Oh my gosh. self scare day, Cleo, yes. Um, so there you go, second time seeing these shoes from Fabulous Pets, courtesy of her. And then moving on to the accessories that Cleo does not come wearing, but that come like in the box that you can just open up and see. So I don't have the doll to show you, but we get the headband, and this is from Skultimate Secrets Series 1 Cleo. I repainted mine, so you know, I don't really wanna show you it because it's not original as it came anyways, but I love this headband. I, you know, I like Cleo with headbands because it feels like G1 and I'm happy to get another one. I'll probably add some paint details to these scarabs later on, but yeah, I really like this piece. So I'm happy about this one. Very cool. Okay, next we got a lot of duplicate Monster Ball accessories. So I'll bring over Miss Monster Ball Cleo once more. Starting off with the earrings. So there you can see these earrings are in gold. They come in this self scare day playset instead, this time in orange. Just no paint detail. There you can see they're nice earrings. Um, I think I prefer the gold though, but you know, now we have orange. And then we also get another version of this ring that she came wearing. Do the golds look different? I can't tell. They might be different, but honestly, I can't tell. This is a cool accessory, but like, I like the Monster Ball one because it came already tied with elastic to her hand, so you don't have to do that yourself. And if I put this on, I'm probably gonna try to replicate this so it doesn't fall off. 
Very random accessory to include, uh, you know, this ring, but hey, they gave it to us, so I'm not complaining. And then we also got this snake, like cufflink piece right here, except this time we got it in black. And the original one, it did have the eyes painted, as you can see. Uh, this new one does not. I like this piece, it's fun, it's versatile. You can throw it on any other Cleo doll and it feels on theme. And I do like the black. I feel like that could be fun to restyle with, so that's nice. But overall, there were a lot of reused Monster Ball pieces. The snake cufflink, the ring, the earrings, and the necklace. So a lot of things came from Monster Ball, which, I mean, this is a gorgeous doll, but just interesting to see how many borrowed accessories are included in this playset. Okay, and it doesn't stop there because we have more borrowed accessories. Cleo came with an extra necklace, and you can see it's the same one that came with the Fear Descent Sculptimate Secrets Cleo. This time, instead of a black with gold paint details, it's just in this solid, I don't know, kind of like corally pink plastic. I don't know where this color came from because I don't really see Cleo in this color ever. It's completely random to give her this color, but we got it. I do like this necklace. The original one is really nice. This one I'm less fond of in this color, but yeah, that's what they chose to give us. And then I have to open up her purse to pull out this next accessory, but she came with this Sphinx like lipstick in gold for her fear descent. And we get this instead in her new shade, her new like red orange shade uh, in a blue lipstick container. So two of these, come on, come on, focus. There we go, there we go. This is a nice accessory, it's fine. Just it's really tiny so I don't lose it. And then we get extra headdresses. So Fear Destin originally had this gold colored one with the scarab painted orange. And then this new self scare day gets a blue like turban headdress, but this time no paint detail on the scarab. It's a lot tighter of a fit, this new one. It's like not really going on her. There she goes. I like the gold one. I actually do like the gold one, but I tend to not want to display my Cleos in this piece. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I say that and then <laughs> I have uh, her displayed in it. So there it is again, just so you can reference it. So yeah, she comes with a lot of reused pieces. I think those are all the accessories that she comes with. I do like that she gets tons of accessories that you can mix and match and play with. And, you know, I hope it's cheap for them to make these accessories because they already have the mold. So they're just casting it in different colored plastics and all of the accessories came with virtually no paint detail. So like, I can't imagine it's that expensive. I think the only thing that had paint detail was this lipstick, which, you know, you can't not include. It seems pretty integral to a lipstick that the lipstick matches the color of the lips. It's like that adds up, you know, but every other accessory that she came with had virtually no paint details. And I like the accessories, you know, it's fun. It's, it's a random thing to like reference the different colorways, you know, I'm one of those people where like, as soon as I saw this playset, I could immediately name which doll they all went to just because I carry that excess knowledge with me. <laughs> so I like showing off all the accessories and talking about them. Let's see the headband. Oh yeah, I much prefer that. I'm probably gonna style her wearing that headband instead and you know, do her hair and all that jazz. But that is the self scare day Cleo Denial playset. I do like her. I don't think she's worth 40 and honestly, she's barely worth 30. Probably your best bet is like 20 and under and that seems pretty fair. She doesn't have a chest joint, I did check. So she is considered like a budget doll. There's no chest joint there and the fashion is very underwhelming and lackluster. I think my one wish for Mattel is if we do get more playsets like this in the future, that the amount of love and attention that's going to these like auxiliary playset pieces like the chair and the vanity, just a little bit more of that could go to the fashion. You know, the makeup is great, the hair is fine, but I just wish the fashion pieces just felt more elevated or in intentional or just well designed. These just are kind of ugly and tacky, which I can tolerate every now and then, but ugh, I prefer we have something that is tasteful, you know? You know, I think that's a pretty fair ask. I don't think I'm asking for too much here, but that's everything I have to show you today. Let me know if you plan on picking up this Cleo Denial doll. Like I said, I recommend waiting, hold out for her to go on sale. Um, I might pick up an extra, who knows? Actually, 
I'm lying, probably not. Anytime a doll comes with like a playset or something, I tend to not pick up extras because what am I gonna do with a second vanity? Like be so real, I don't need a second one of these. I just don't need it. That's everything she comes with. I hope you had fun hanging out with me and watching me unbox this brand new Cleo Denial doll. She's fine, you know, I, I, she's cool. She's probably gonna be like my current doll that I like fixate on and like play with and like do her hair. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna have fun with her just because it's me and I love dolls, but she's not too special, unfortunately. You know, she's not gonna rank in my top five Cleos. Maybe not even top 10. Okay, I'm not gonna be too harsh on you, Cleo. You're still nice, you're still nice. Okay, for real this time, that is all I have to share with you today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. My name is Eli, and this is my channel, Dracula, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.